Go to WYSIWYG.TV, choose an ACE stream, hit play now, it'll open the torrent stream controller, click start, now it's pre-buffering. Next, hit the Later button. Hit Bubble Up NP. The playback's going to start on the phone. And we're going to cast it to the big TV. This is a how-to on casting a live sports ace stream from phone to TV using Bubble Up over Chromecast with transcoding capabilities for ASF files. Now I'm going to show you what's needed. The first thing we're going to get we're going to do is download and install the Bubble Up NP Windows Server onto your Windows computer. So click Windows Installer. Start to download it. I've already uh, downloaded it myself so we're going to cancel it and just go right to it. Click the Bubble Up server to get it started. Go into Network and Securities. I had to change this from default to local host to get this to work. So you'll have to find out what your host name is. Put in some passwords here. Checked off the three boxes here. And that was all I did uh, for the Bubble Up server. Next, we need Bubble Up uh, on your phone, Bubble Up Android. So we're going to go into the Google Play Store and search for that. They have a free version, uh, limited to 20 minutes, and a paid version. If you like it, you want you'll want to buy the paid version. So uh, I've already install installed it, so you'll have to do that. Then there's a few settings I adjusted within the program on the phone. So let's go into the program. Hit the settings button right there. Click Networks and Settings. Click the Home button. Now under the server address, you need your local IP address. Mine's 192.168.110. And the 5850 is the uh, port that you'll need to set up in your router. I'm not going to go over that. Here we tested it. It was successful. Next thing I did was fool around with some of the bit rates. Actually, first let's go into uh, Chromecast. It should be enabled for transcoding. That box should be checked. I think it comes automatically like that, so you probably don't have to worry about that. Now go back into Networks and Settings. And these uh, bitrate settings, these are actually for music. I'm not sure if you're going to be using that, but I've just put everything on the maximum. Wi-Fi, the same thing, 320. <coughs> and 
Then in transcoding for videos, I put everything on the highest 720p. There's Wi-Fi, 720p again. Okay, there's our render. We want Chromecast for that, for our render. Go into Devices, you'll see Chromecast is set as the render. We want uh, to check off local media server for libraries. So, next thing we need to do is search for another program. It's called Torrent Stream Controller. We need to put this on our phone so we get it from the Play Store. We install it. Once again, I've already installed it, but you'll have to do that. And the last thing we need, I don't believe it's in the Play Store, but it's the A-Stream Engine. So go to this website I'm on. I use version 2.17 APK. So hit the download buttons and get the free download. You're going to have to install it. And everything should work just like it did in the initial demonstration. So I don't think you'll have any problems here. And uh, good luck.